He hurt his knee. What does that mean? He hurt his knee. David! No one cares about your fing knee! Get off the fing phone! You're too old to be doing that. You're not old to be able to Mike sucks ass, so it's amazing to watch him. Guys, this is not a game. I see a lot of smiles. This isn't a joke, okay? Get serious about this, all right? You should just run this business. <laughs> I, I need a brand. I can't do YouTube. I'm 38 years old. What do you think? I'm gonna vlog forever? You have a whole brand. I know. This is amazing. Well, it's gotten even better now that we're working alongside Culture Kings, as you guys have just figured out. By the way, welcome back to the night shift. You're working late and so are we. It's time to clock in. You have seen me wear every one of their shirts for the past two years, but now we are getting our own night shift clothing in collaboration with Culture Kings. So the first one we printed was this Girls, Girls, Girls tee, which was this uh, beautiful uh, live nudes uh, girl in the back and the night shift were working late on the front. This is called the World Tour tee. It's got uh, the classic Grim Reaper on the front. 50 of the top burger places that we've been to on the back of it. This is the premium tee for the 7% female audience out there. You guys are getting your own uh, tees as well on that same vintage tee. So the Angels of the Night Shift tee, as well as your own hoodies. Culture Kings Night Shift collaboration is now now available, that's right, I said it, is now available at the link in the description. Everybody go crazy, Culture King, let's go! Woo! Bye, let's get into the episode. This is the intro? No, 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 I, I got this. In. Welcome back to the Clock In Show. Hey! hey. Wait, watch this, I'm gonna try it for the first time. Look at these sick <laughs> Nice to meet you, boys. Hey, 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 teach us some slang. Ah, bro. What would I say if I wanted somebody to put, I don't know, another piece of shrimp on the grill? Yeah, people say like, oh, can you put a shrimp on the barbie? But oh, like, yeah, I like no that. One that. No one says that. No one says that. No one says that. Australia has like three or four very important things going yeah. for them. Kangaroos, surfing, really, really, really hot girls. Every time I go on my Explore page on Instagram, they're always from Australia. They're always from a place called Gold Coast. Let's be honest. Mike came to get his impulsive check. All right. But I appreciate the Prime support. And I'm going to hook it up, bro. If Prime does what we think it's going to do, I promise I will get a giant yacht and I'll name the dinghy Mike. Deal. You may or may not know this, but Australia is actually f***ing massive. So right now we're flying from Sydney, which is on the east coast, all the way across the country to Perth. Keep in mind, we just got off a 15 and a half hour flight. Hello, how are you? Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi, how are you? Do you two want that whole back room? Because you guys can bang back there and stuff if you want. Hey, Kevin, what's up? I know we're in Australia, but say something in Spanish for the Spanish speaking audience. Aquí estamos en Australia. Vamos a ver todos los kangaroos. Vamos a... Honestly guys, very tired right now. My brain is running on fumes. And I was actually thinking about this before I started shooting. There's certain times when I don't feel like shooting. But I know that whoever you are watching this video right now, there's certain times you don't feel like working either. And you gotta go, you gotta show up. You got bills to pay, family to support, food to put on the table. Okay, so another big part of this trip is I'm gonna be trying a bunch of Australian stuff. These are called, how do you even say this? Tim Tams. Tim Tams. And David said these are important. Made with irresistible real chocolate. You can back, you can slide yours. Uh, they're good. Holy <laughs> shit. It's just like a Mexican candy though. Trying to work. Everybody steals everything from Mexico, bro. It just tastes like something. Yo, look how clear this water is. We're in Perth right now. It's stunning. Today we're going to a place just off the coast of Perth, Rotnest Island. But what they have on this island is an inhabitant. So unique, so cute, that it could literally make you cry. This is the only island in the world these things exist. Look at this guy, bro. He literally is like a little island rat, bro, on Rotnest Island. He I've been studying the uh, female inhabitants of this continent, and they said that regarding First of all, I have never used the word <laughs> in my life. I don't know what is going on where you are in Perth, and like, if everyone's- Look at these fucking but... Now that she said that, I'm not sure that she's even Australian, because every Australian I've met is the only thing they say. It's the first thing they say when they walk up to you. Can you give me some slang? Uh, yeah, see, bro. See, I think this girl from Sydney told me that nobody says it. Americans just get so amazed, like, whoa, he's so cool. He says, well, because, because <laughs> you know, in America, that's like the worst word that you can say. Like, I actually don't even know if YouTube's gonna let me just play it wide open because I said it about 600 times already. Are you excited to meet these island rats? 
Hell yeah, dude. The happiest animal on earth, the quokkas. Evidently, they're not as nice as we thought. David saw a TikTok that said they pretend to be happy. To mask up like their real life problems. Sounds like everyone on Twitter. That's what I said. That's exactly what I said. Sounds like Twitter. This is great. <laughs> I don't know what just happened, but somehow we were just transported to like the Caribbean or something. We'll go for a swim here and then we'll go around to the town and then have lunch and stuff in there. But I reckon enjoy here for an hour or two. Hey. Wow, cool. Hey. You're fucking c you keen? <laughs> what? I had this some fucking shocks, yeah. man. <laughs> wow, I'm proper keen out here, mate. We just got to the island. We swam the camera in. We had one of these trained professionals swim the camera. It was me, bro. Why are you lying? David won't get off the boat. He said he hurt his knee. What the f are you doing? Why did I fing pay 13 G's to get him out here? Why is he standing on the boat? David! He hurt his knee. What does that mean? He hurt his knee. <laughs> David! No one cares about your fing knee! You can get off the <laughs> Your knee's really gonna be hurting when you get deported. <laughs> like, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind right now, bro. Take a walk, Mike. You haven't already? What are you talking about? <laughs> what is he doing? Every bone in my body hurts, bro. What? How does that change anything? Why is he sitting there like a fucking Instagram model taking a picture? <gasps> <laughs> he said he's something about China. Is there a chance he just steals the boat and flees the country? <laughs> Back to Dusseldorf. Listen, guys, I made a, a terrible mistake. David's just, he's uh, not the strong, he's not Michael Phelps, all right? There's not, I wouldn't call him waves, but there's like a light look, breeze. No, it's not even that, man. It's almost eaten alive on the shore the other day. That's, I knew that's what it was. What you guys didn't see, and I wish we filmed it, was I actually went out there and, and, and hook swam with him in the shore. I want to seriously give a shout out right now to anybody in the Coast Guard or in the Navy, or the Marines, I guess, too, technically. From the boat to here with a with another human where you can't use both your arms to swim, I was tough, so out of breath, tough, dude. Bro. I was so tired. This is beautiful. Just doesn't even look like anything you would, I, I didn't know Australia looked like this. Bro, the color of this water competes with, with any island I've ever, like crazy island I've ever been to, Caribbean. It's just, this is nuts, dude. Let's go find some of those Rat. I literally just locked eyes with it. It looks like it would gnaw every piece of my That's body what I'm saying. straight That's off what I'm my saying. bones, bro. Like it would pick my flesh off my bones, bro. How come you're not smiling like you are on TikTok, buddy? Are they lying about the conditions here? <laughs> Logan, maybe this is like the lower socioeconomic area for him or something like that. Like this could be the projects, Quaka projects. For anybody watching from, from Great Britain, this is the ends, dude. But how come they all seem to, so depressed? Maybe they, they sleep in the day, they're awake at night. Are they nocturnal marsupials? Yeah. Maybe they ran out of Lexapro. Look at this cute little marsupial. So this is the only place on earth that you could find quakas. Excuse me, Quaka Quaka. How are the conditions here? I don't really know what to ask a, a marsupial. This one looks different over here. <laughs> There's a kid. Where'd that kid come from? What's up, kid? How you doing? Good to meet you, Quokka. <laughs> oh my god, there really <laughs> is a Quokka. <laughs> Quokkas aren't so different from us. Like the images we see of them smiling online is sort of more like a highlight reel and not what happens in their actual day-to-day -day life. So it's like Instagram. Like they're just like... I think they're probably depressed, sad, and stupid like the most of us. <laughs> so we figured out the, the quokka quandary. Quokkas are just doing the best they can day to day <laughs> to feed their families. They have food on the fucking wood chips. Wood chips. And a lot of them, dude, a lot of them, unfortunately, because of the way the healthcare system set up, have to live under bridges, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's, it's, it's shitty. Same with, same, it's basically like Los Angeles. There's a quokka crisis going on all around us. Bro. Where's this one? That's fake, Matt. That's a fake. It's a fake. That's okay, it's a fake. so okay. Let me ask yeah, you a question. Yeah. The jig, the jig's up. They're chronically depressed. You guys are making believe they're happy. There's a problem here, dude. It's all the American tourists coming to the <laughs> coming to the bakery and feeding them that feeding them pies and stuff. That part yeah. I believe. America yeah. ruins everything, bro. To get them smiling, they're just chewing, and it's in between their bites. Like this, look. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Look, look, look. <laughs> Like right now, he's mid bite thinking about the fact that his wife left him for another. Like he's not, ha <laughs> he's not actually happy. He's pissed off, but he's eating. You guys know I like dark humor and I like to make jokes. The quackers are very sweet. They're tired. They're done with our bullshit. Okay. They're not using drugs. There's no substance abuse or mental illness problem with the quackers. After we left Rottenest last night, we went to a club. Honestly, Perth not a huge club city, but uh, we met up with uh, Izzy. Israel Adesanya, the style bender, uh, who will be on the podcast eventually. It was a it was a fun night. You guys don't see me get nervous very often, but there's a reason I'm nervous. I am about to try Vegemite. This is a Australian spread that Aussies absolutely love. It's like the same as like jam in the UK or like I don't Nutella. know or like Nutella, but I don't I just don't know how I feel about it. It's amazing. You have to spread it thin, but you know, do a thick piece do if you want to really get. I like it yeah. thick. She likes it thick. I like it spread thin. First, I'm gonna smell it. 
Oh Lord Jesus! It has the it has the sorry to all the Aussies out there. It has like the fragrance of like a hamster cage. Get so I did there. get some advice from from the Aussie community. Make sure you put a lot of butter on on the toast, and then just a thin layer. Yeah. But you like it thick. I like it thick. Well, you're you're thick, so maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, anyways, would you say that's a, uh, the right amount? That's too much oh, for that's you. Way oh too much, much for me. That's for me. But okay. do you like, do you put it on like no. that? Like, I didn't want to hear nor. I just want to, <laughs> no. how do I eat this shit, bro? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, first ever Australian Vegemite review. Mm. That's fucking beautiful. It's so salty! <laughs> bro, it's like eating seawater. I won't disrespect off season and spit it out. David, you have no idea how fucking salty to, uh, yep. this shit is, bro. I don't care. Yep. It is so salty. It's all over my fingers. Y'all love this stuff. It's great. And honestly, like I could overlook this because you guys are, you guys, you have beautiful girls in this country, but this stuff is not good. Definitely stick with the Tim Tams, dude. What is the percentage of people that like it versus don't like it? Everybody 99% of people yeah. in love Australia love it. Yeah. They grew up do, you, do you guys like Vegemite? Hello, Hi, I love Vegemite. Are you yeah. serious? I can't post that TikTok. <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna get fucking slaughtered. Just like that, we are in Sydney, Australia. Perth, what a wonderful city. We left. It is pouring rain in Sydney. It's also pouring A-list celebrities. I'm here with Laser Beam right now. Who would call me A-list, man? I think anybody who Thank watches you YouTube. Thank you for coming to my country, bro. Thank <laughs> you. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I try to be humble. Would you? Am I humble? Most, most Absolutely times. Not, no. I, I try to be humble. As far as burgers are concerned, I am that guy on the internet right now. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it, okay? That was good, that was good. That was very humble, I felt that, yeah. When I was coming to Australia, I've never gotten so many messages in my life. When you're in Perth, go to Two Stacks. When you're in Sydney, go to Betty's, go to Bar Luca. A lot of people said, Go to Chebos. Why do I feel pressure right now? Like, this is my country. <laughs> I don't know. I feel... You should. You really should. I'm nervous for us. I think he sent you a cold email. You. And then it, and then you sent. Don't, it. don't say that. Don't email me. You fucking bastard. <laughs> <laughs> and also, I did go out and talk to him very quickly. He had this to say. Pressure's on. You know, I've cooked for a lot of people. You know, I've had massive lines out the door, but this is a defining moment in my career. We'll see if it's up to scratch. How it compares to the American burgers. Um, I'm confident. He Let's gets look points at for how he delivered it to he you, was, right? Uh, like he showed up in the rain, you know? He gets yeah. points for that? Like... He doesn't. Oh. Unfortunately, <laughs> that's not how this works. This is a taste-based scoring system. Anything you want to say about being on the night shift? This is my dream. Genuinely, fuck impulsive to some degree. This is my dream, right here. No, we were in lockdowns the whole time, and I would just sit in your comments seeing you travel the world. This fucking dickhead. Just fuck you. And then you're always like, well, whenever you get free, bro. And then fuck you. Here I am. Here I am. You have to come to me. Big potato, but almost looks more like a brioche bun. They're calling it a smash patty, but they're 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 very thick still. It's a, it's it's not a full smash like we see in America. It's a pretty thick patty, and I'm very interested to see how this meat is in Australia. It's halal. This is halal meat. Lettuce, tomato, and this burger sauce. He's calling this basically like a like an In-N-Out copycat. Guys, here we go. I'm no, just fucking eat. Yeah, it's the worst part. Instead of one, two, three, I'll say this. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi. I mean, I like but It's heartier than the burgers we normally taste in America. Is it's it, do you, it's, not, no, a full, it's no. not a full smash. No. This is also probably the first time you've ever had a real cow in your burger. Like, I don't know what the fuck they use over there, but this is good That's meat. True. This is good meat. It's very saucy, which I like. The pickles are small, which I don't like. I would prefer the pickles to be a little bit bigger. What do you got? I actually think, although the cows are real, I think they lost on the meat here. I think the texture on the meat is, is too hard or something. It's hard. It's the lack of growth hormone that they pump into it. Yeah. He's right. So what you're getting is in America, you're addicted to that kind of meat. We get f***ed up meat that is pumped up with, with cyanide and shit like that. Like f***ed up shit, bro. The chickens in your country are fucked, bro. They walk around with like, they can't even stand. Massive. It's like really cooked. And I don't love hard meat in my mouth. How much have you tried hard meat? <laughs> <laughs> the conversation we're having right now is actually the conversation that we have every time we have a burger outside of the United States. What is going on with the meat? I think you said it. They it's, just have a different set of- It's tough also because I'm very biased. To me, this is the greatest burger of all time. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give these fries a shot. Looks like it's got a little like a uh, Cajun season on the potato. Delicious. It is a really, really good burger. Yeah, yeah, it's good. And you're about to say it's the best burger ever. <laughs> New record. You love your country. I do. You're a good 
You use that well. That was good. That was good. Chebos, saucy, tasty, perfect for TikTok and social media. 8.4. I, I knew it. 8. I knew 4. it. Yeah, I was going to say 8.3. Nice. Perfect. Nice. Okay, nice. so we're aligned. Cheers, yes, my fries. Right. I'm loving Australia. I love it here. Thank you so much to Laserbeam for finally being a part of the night shift. That's it for this week's episode, guys. Thank you so much for working late with us. We're clocking. Clocking out. <laughs> there you go. Oi! You get what are you doing? Out. That's wild. If you're gonna have combos, go inside for the love of God. You got side eyes. I try to be humble. <laughs> I feel like I wanna I feel like I'm gonna vomit, dude. Mm. Oi, oi! Silencio, por favor, rapido de mente, the fuck out of here, man. Sad quackers. I can feed myself, you c so please don't. He didn't say that. He's a he's a, a city rat. This is why I can't ever enjoy a, a vacation of any kind. Australia has three or four important. This very well could be the end of David. Logan, I always watch the pilot just to see if I can see him like mouthing, Mayday, Mayday! <laughs> like in the mirror, you just see his, you just see his face now. Can you call the girls too? No, 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 no. Okay, all right, I'm just learning here. No problem, no trouble, bro. Fucking mad I said you're fucking keen, you wanna fucking Take a dip in the swim up. Yeah, okay. Because I may need you to talk to the locals. I don't want them to think that I'm using this animal for social or for clout.